On today's Maker Mashup, we're talking about a bug in the SKR version 1.4. So today we're talking about a bug that I found in the SKR version 1.4. And through a little research, looking at other YouTube comments in the wild, I was able to see that other people have been able to confirm this as well. Now, what this bug relates to is the end stops on the version 1.4 and 1.4 turbo. I did reach out to Big Tree Tech regarding this and they were able to at least somewhat confirm that this is a problem with the board. So what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is I'm gonna go over what the issue is, how it relates to the end stops and some of the workarounds that I was able to come up with in order to make this work for your 3D printer should you need to put optical end stops in uh, your 3D printer and use the version 1.4. I really like the version 1.4 board and I like the turbo uh, even more because I think the performance is a little bit better. Uh, but I'm hoping that after I publish this video, Big Tree Tech can figure out a better workaround than mine and fix the problem permanently. So let me describe the problem here. First, this only applies to the Z axis. And if there was one axis that they were going to pick to screw up that you didn't want to have this problem on, it's the Z axis. So many makers like myself use an optical end stop for the Z axis in particular. And the reason why you use it for the Z is that an optical can give you some really good precision and repeatability compared to something like a mechanical end stop. I know that with my Ender, I run into this actually quite a bit where maybe one home out of 20 or so, uh, I will find that the mechanical end stop does not home exactly to the right spot. So that's where you wanna have that extra precision. Now, I discovered this problem because I was putting together the X301 printer and the prototype one that I put together has this optical end stop here and it was working really well, but I was using a 1.3 version board. So then the 1.4 version came out and I wanted to upgrade. So once I upgraded that board, I discovered that it ran into a problem where the Z end stop no longer worked. And I couldn't understand it. At first I thought I had a bad end stop. So I started doing some troubleshooting and I'm gonna go over that same type of troubleshooting that I did here. So what I'm gonna do is then take this optical end stop and we're gonna plug it into each one of the other end stop switches. So we'll try it on the, uh, we'll try it on the X and the Y, and then we'll also try it on the Z. Now, what you'll see is that this works fine on the X and the Y, but does not actually work on the Z. Now, when I reached out to Big Tree Tech about it, and I sent them the information and the repeatability of how to reproduce the results, they had sent back and told me that the resistor that was on the Z axis of the 1.4, and then I was also able to confirm it on the 1.4 turbo at a later date, both of those have the wrong resistor in them. Now, if that's the actual cause, I don't know. Big Tree Tech was not able to confirm anything else other than that. They did say that they had passed that on to their engineering department, but I've not heard anything back in several weeks. It's been probably six weeks and I don't have an answer back from them. So a little disappointed that I don't have any follow-up to this, but I wanted to put this video out anyhow, so anyone else that's struggling, trying to figure out why their Z end stop doesn't work, you're not going insane, there is a problem with the board. So with all that said, let's get to work. Okay, so what we're going to do now is test the version 1.3. Now this board works the way it should. What we're going to do is start with the optical end stop, we're gonna go ahead and trigger the optical, and then we're gonna switch it out for a mechanical, and you'll see that in both cases, M119 reports that the end stop is triggered. Okay, so if I trigger it here, you can see that the Z-min is reporting open, and then I'm gonna put the white piece of tubing in there, and you can see now that the min, Z-min, is now triggered. So that's functioning exactly as it should be. So we can see here that this triggers. 
when I put this in here. So now we're gonna look at the M119 command and you can see there that the Z probe is open. And when I put the plastic in there and then check the Z probe again, you can see that it's still open. So what I'm gonna do here now is we're gonna turn off the power to the board and we're gonna swap this out for the mechanical end stop. And now we're gonna go ahead and test the M119 in Proner Face. So you can see that Proner Face is reporting that that probe is open. And then you can see here that now that I have this triggered, M119 is reporting that it is triggered. So the optical end stop is not working, but the mechanical end stop is. So you can see the optical end stop is reporting triggered in the X. And then when I put the plastic tube in it, it's reporting open. Obviously this would need to be inverted if I was using this in a live printer. But you can see that the X works just fine. And now you can see that the Y is showing as triggered and it is now showing as open. So you can see that this worked fine on the version 1.3 for the Z end stop. The optical had no problems whatsoever. On the 1.4 turbo that I used here as an example, we did have a problem with the Z, but the X and Y worked perfectly. And this goes along with what Big Tree Tech had sent me back, saying that there's possibly a wrong resistor, or in their email, they actually pointed out the wrong resistor for that Z end stop. Now, I've done some research and looked at some other YouTube videos, and there are more than one person reporting this particular problem. So I don't don't think that this is limited to my Z end stop manufacturer in particular. I believe that there's probably other manufacturers that are having this problem as well. Now, just to rule it out, I did order an end stop from Big Tree Tech that is an optical just to see if theirs works, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. And there'll be an update in the comments or maybe an update video afterwards once I get that uh, end stop in. Uh, because of COVID, I'm not able to get it shipped right away through Amazon. So that's delayed a little bit. So now let's talk about how we work around this problem. Now, what I was able to do on the regular 1.4 was to go into the pins.h file for the Big Tree Tech board and swap around the pins. Since we know that the uh, X and Y do work fine, you can go into the pins.h and swap around the Z with the X. Now, most people will use a mechanical end stop on the X or the Y because you don't need that same level of precision. So one workaround I'm not able to solve just yet is how you solve this problem of the Z end stop with a 2209 and sensorless homing on the X and Y. Now where this also becomes a problem with the Z is that the 1.4 has those double uh, stepper driver uh, ports so that we can control dual Z's from one step stick. So if you move your Z off of there, then you end up with the problem of not being able to use that particular functionality. But that's a terrible workaround. To do all those jacking around of those pins cause problems because now you can't upgrade. So if you are trying to use an optical end stop on your Z axis, you have to go through this nightmare to get this fixed. So I'm hoping that Big Tree Tech comes up with some sort of patch or solution in the hardware board or start releasing a, a version 1.41 or a 1.5 board. They did mention that they would fix this in the next version, but of course this is a nightmare to have to deal with if you want the new 1.4 board. So I like the version 1.4 boards. Uh, I've done a couple videos on different features of it now and I really enjoy the board, but I think that not having this end stop capability of the optical end stop is really an inconvenience. Sure, I can use a mechanical one and I will probably do that short term, but I'm a little disappointed that this bug exists and they haven't done anything about it to really address it. I'm hoping maybe Big Tree Tech will see that and come up with some sort of patch.
Until then, I'm stuck with a mechanical end stop or moving all of the board configurations around, and that's not really a great workaround. So with that, I'm going to say this is going to be the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video like this. I'd also like to hear in the comments, what do you think of this problem? Is this going to impact your workflow? Is it going to impact your printer development? Let me know down in the comments. And if you need help with this, or any other project, don't forget to reach out to our channel Discord. It's an open community of makers and there's makers all during the day and night that will pop in there and uh, be able to help answer questions or maybe just help you uh, work on your particular project. And there's some showcase areas in there as well. So you can always go in there and show off the projects that you're working on. So with that, it's gonna be the end. And I wanna say thanks for watching. And we'll see y'all next time.